Wei can't show up at other places alone with Yo, because he's expressly forbidden by Sister Daisy. For this reason, he could only secretly ask Yo to come to his home for a visit. Later, after Wei sees what Yo has written for the character, Yo offers to help explain it. Only afterward did he ask about the reason Wei had invited himself. And when Yo came by appointment this time, Wei thanked Yo. He said he was grateful for the efforts he made on his behalf to start picking up work as well. He couldn't help but have tears in his eyes as he spoke, crying like a child. Baron is very concerned about what Peter actually holds in mind for Gun. When he saw Peter and Gun were chatting and laughing so much, Baron just couldn't help but step forward and ask what the two of them were talking about. However, it was also at this point that Lily popped in to stop the conversation. Baron couldn't stay any longer after hearing the two men say this. He immediately left the place and went outside to cool off. When he confronts May about his recent relationship with Peter, he is also forcing down his emotions to talk to May and is forcing up an act that we are fine. May wanted the two to talk it out properly. Those words seemed to give Baron a new idea. Sophie eventually found the opportunity to get the word out with Peter alone. Baron comes up and questions Peter about whether he has a crush on Gun. Peter didn't deny his feelings, but that's not something you want to believe in Baron's mouth. Because Baron Light saw the smile on Peter's face as he exchanged messages with Gun. He knew Peter's feelings for Gun were ironically not innocent. But he also didn't say exactly what conclusions he came to. Eventually he was put in Peter's arms and went back to his room with him to rest. Wei got a script for an acting job and he loved it. However, because the script required him to interact intimately with the actress, it just so happened that Yo was showing up beside him. So he approached Yo and instructed to ask her to give him some experience to share. Unfortunately Yo isn't sure, so the two started learning how to kiss by searching on their phones to watch other people's intimate scenes. Just as the two of them were watching the video, they were engaged in an in-depth discussion and research. Erin, who can't find her men, goes downstairs to look for Amos and asks the two men if they've seen Amos. Instead, she ended up hearing from Wei when Amos went to hang out with Dave again today. When she sees Lion on the phone, she asks him about Dave's shooting location. After that she after again Dave's work schedule, Erin then came to block people on their must-see route. She also knocked something right out of Dave's hand. It also caused Dave to start arguing with Aaron in defense of the fans' hearts. But Aaron doesn't care what Dave is saying and just starts talking to Amos like nobody's business. With that, he ignored Aaron's attempts to stop him. And without saying a word, he shook off her hand and took off. This caused Dave, who was watching Aaron's disappointed, despondent look, to show his mockery. On this day, Baron and Peter and the others returned to the star house from the outer house. However, Peter was in such a hurry to get upstairs that he didn't notice the extra person in the house. It was only when he came downstairs that he asked about the origins of the uninvited guest, but the other didn't answer his own question. Peter saw this and just said hello to the other man and left. He told Lily about it as soon as he left the house. Lily's entire body was shocked as soon as she saw the man's figure. He comes from more than just Sister Daisy's son Yang. His appearance also reveals that he is blood and blood with his mother and Lily. Lily turned out to be Yang's sister as well. And if this matter is exposed, it will inevitably create new strife within the extended family. Daisy had to agree to Young's request in order to keep him out of trouble, to keep him in the star house. Only Lily seems to be scared of Young. What happened between them? Baron runs into Wei and Yo early in the morning, but the other guy kept talking about him and Peter, which made Baron a little uncomfortable. He simply went back to his room to hide from the cleaners, and Peter got up early the next morning and was bombarded with messages. As soon as he scratched the surface of his community, he realized that his fond bossa and everywhere else was bursting with gossip about him and gone, and the fake news that Baron was depressed and sick because of it. The first thing Peter knew was to rush to Baron's room, where he was staying at the star house, and knock on the door, finally entering only with Baron's permission. He comforts and encourages the affected Baron. On Sister Daisy's side, she approached May to question her immediately after the incident broke out. May made it directly clear that he had a previous conviction though. But as a CP fan of the two, she wouldn't do something that would tarnish her idol's reputation. Daisy also decided to hold a press conference to explain the situation and to stop the public opinion from further deteriorating. With Sister Daisy's as well as Lily's arrangements, Gunn and Baron soon attended the press conference together, and Lily produced Baron's psychiatric report. It's meant to be a way to shut down people who have an axe to grind and malicious rumors. In addition, Gunn was asked by a reporter about his relationship with Peter. He also replied that he's taking care of his juniors with the mentality of a big elder. After the press conference, Peter came to strike up a conversation with Baron. He stepped wearily up the stairs just in time to meet Sister Daisy, who had come up to show her concern for him. Sister Daisy, seeing that he is troubled by his feelings, recommends the doctor to Baron if he should consider going to counseling. However, 
This suggestion of hers was politely rejected by Jean Baron. After letting Baron go, Yum walks out. He flirted with Sister Daisy's means of governing her extended family outside of the one side. He insinuated that Sister Daisy was self-producing within her team, and his mouth was so poisonous that Sister Daisy had no way to refute it. Aaron, after being rejected by Amos during the day, in order to salvage their relationship, she then decides to sell her sex to make ends meet. Now Amos wasn't eating her at all right now, even as she rides up to Amos and seduces him, trying to remind him of all the good things that he used to do. He also said venomously that he had no feelings for her at all, before leaving without Aaron. It's humiliating enough to have your advances rejected, but then Dave finds out about it. He even made a point of coming to her to drop the ball, but Aaron was more than capable of doing anything about it. Aaron went to the hospital again the next day to visit Brother Tim. Only Peter had agreed to accompany him on the trip. Instead, Gunn stepped in hard to have a threesome. Aaron wasn't happy but didn't say anything. Only when Gunn enters the ward and meets Brother Tim, and heard Baron mention Brother Tim as his brother, and he was sick until today, when he was in a serious car accident seven years ago. That comment alone was a burst of information that brought back memories of Gunn's own car accident seven years ago. At that moment, he immediately lost his mind and excused himself, indicating that he would leave first. As soon as Gunn stepped out of the hospital room, he immediately called Sister Daisy and asked her when she squashed the incident back then, did she know exactly who he was bumping into? When he was hearing that Sister Daisy had no defense, this comment immediately caused Gunn to get emotional and say he was returning to Star House before hanging up the phone. Unbeknownst to him, May, who is not far away, has already captured and recorded Gunn talking to Sister Daisy. At the same time, there were interesting scenes inside the Star House. Once again, Aaron chooses to tear into Dave. This time, she successfully posed a Shane by treating green tea in the same way as green tea. This is a very clumsy trick. But the effect is remarkable. Sure enough, she managed to get Amos to care about himself. She managed to return the favor against love interest Dave. Picking up one first win, Dave naturally resents being set up like this by Aaron. He explains that it's all Aaron's own doing, but unfortunately Lily and others aren't convinced. So he still has to follow Lily to Sister Daisy and upstairs in the room. Aaron was originally a little apprehensive looking at such a cold Amos. But when she saw Amos tenderly rubbing her wounded wounds, Aaron's heart is then doubly warmed by the thought that Amos still has himself in his heart. The smile at the corners of her mouth was much more real and warm. So, when Amos medicates him and pretends to be soft and cries out in pain, it's just not done. On Dave's side, he was called to Sister Daisy by Lily in a hundred different ways. He never admitted that he did it. And how could Sister Daisy not know? When confronted about Dave being planted, she also knows that Dave didn't make this happen. Yet she doesn't turn on Aaron. Instead, she starts by warning Dave not to play with fire. After all, he was the one who had gotten into the business of robbing something that had an owner, and this success built on the suffering of others. This is ultimately nothing more than fleeting happiness. She warns him that if he continues this way, he will be the only one to suffer later. It doesn't take long for Gunn to burst into Sister Daisy's office in a huff. Gunn then yells at Sister Daisy about her taking liberties with him. He didn't think she should hide from him about the other's health. He thought Sister Daisy's reaction to ruining someone's life and future was a little cold-blooded. Who knows Sister Daisy slapped Gunn after hearing that. She also chided back at Gunn saying that if she hadn't been able to handle it, he wouldn't be the way he is now. A statement that Gunn could not object to when he heard it. It also left him with no choice but to vent his anger towards the innocent items on his desk. Then he was kicked out by Sister Daisy opening her mouth, but just in time to see Dave in the doorway. The two also got into an argument, and it wasn't long before Peter came over. When Peter saw that he was hurt, he tried to go up to him to find out what had happened to him. He also rejected Peter's concern in a standing voice, leaving Peter with a lost look on his face. When Sister Daisy is done with Gunn, she comes to her own secret base in the family. She runs into her son Young, who shouldn't be here. Apparently, he's seen to many interesting things in this house. Sister Daisy asks Young what he really wants to do, but Young says he wants to destroy everything, and overhears Gunn calling from the hospital saying he hurt someone's life. After ruining one's future words, Gunn and Dave's conversation is heard again. This one big news made May feel puzzled when she returned to her room. She doesn't know exactly what Gunn meant by what he said at the nursing home, but her instincts let her know that it must have something to do with Baron. So she then uses the fan account. She runs to secretly remind Baron to keep an eye on Gunn. Amos and Aaron remain a significant business relationship due to the external public community. So when the two went to Sister Daisy, they heard the meaning behind those words of Sister Daisy. And, when Amos took Daisy's hand in front of her sister, she acquiesced to Amos' words, but in her heart she was still happy with what Amos had done. However, just as the two are flirting by the pool, Erin purposely dangles herself in front of Amos in her skimpy outfit. 
It also managed to tickle the fire in Amos' heart. However, just as the two were dry humping their way back to their room, they wanted to continue to make it to the final step. Amos, however, scum speaking, said what's over it is over. He doesn't feel anything for Aaron anymore. So the two just make do. After Amos leaves, Aaron remembers the scene where she signed the contract with Sister Daisy. She wants Sister Daisy to add a line about her and Amos banning breakups. She was yelled at by Sister Daisy for this, but got in the way of her development and signed on. It also made it even more unacceptable for Aaron at this point. The Amos side is hard to get down, but Aaron is no slouch, and she has no intention of sparing Dave. When Dave is seen making a pass at Amos, he is also dumped by Amos for wanting to end the relationship. Aaron then steps up to flirt with her love interest after Amos leaves. She even preemptively created the story of Dave selling his body for interpretative opportunities to the media. From there, Dave was distracted and had to deal with the rumors that were rolling in from the community first. Wei is constantly in during intimate scenes with actresses. In order to avoid Wei affecting the filming team, Yo told the director that Wei should take a break to adjust his mindset. Then he pulled Wei aside to practice, seeing Wei feeling in a slump from the show out. Yo just kissed him. He physically taught Wei how to kiss. This initiative has also been successful in enabling Wei to achieve good learning outcomes. After resuming filming, he also successfully completed his performance and won praise from the director. In the evening, Star House celebrated a milestone of nine years in business. Sister Daisy kicked off the extended family party day after her speech. Then she excused herself from the gaze of the crowd and returned to her room. Peter was drinking with Baron at the event and it wasn't long before he blinded himself. And Baron was by now too drunk to support himself as he slumped onto the drink table from his gluttony. It also kept him from reacting in time when Gump pulled Peter upstairs to his room and caught his name. Also a side is successfully addicted because of his kissing practice with Yo. Demanded with Yo right after the session at the pool that he wanted to try again with Yo. Then the two just kissed again and after the kiss each other feel fond of each other for such contact. The day after the party, Lily woke up early and went downstairs to make her rounds of the star house. Unexpectedly, they ended up seeing Sister Daisy's body floating above the pool. The crowd followed the commotion even as Lily screamed in alarm. Instead, they met the scene where Ally jumped into the pool and scooped up Sister Daisy. After seeing Sister Daisy's appearance, everyone looked at each other in disbelief as to who could have done this to her. Meanwhile, Dunn, who is Sister Daisy's biological son, sees the scene. Instead of reacting, he walked in the other direction as if nothing had happened. After a while, or at the prompting of others, Lyon, the other janitor of the extended family, then quickly called the police to report that someone had died in the house. As for Yan, he runs to a room with a computer. With a face full of interest, he turned on his computer and admired what was inside. And at the same time, Yan remembers when Sister Daisy came to visit him when he was in prison. However, Yan refuses to accept Sister Daisy's kindness. He thinks she doesn't even think of him as a son and yells at her to leave, even when she was subdued by the prison guards. They kept letting her go and said that from now on, the two of them would live their own lives. After Yan leaves, Sister Daisy's tears fall. Soon after the police officers at the police station confirmed that Sister Daisy was dead, they carried her body away. They also said that Sister Daisy's accident was most likely an accident. The guards also told them that no one would be allowed to enter the site of the incident during this time, as well as they can take anything from it. For a moment, all the people in the star house were treated as suspects and sent to the police station to make statements. They have been questioned by the police to tell what they did at the party last night and who they stayed with, and Dave even spoke up when questioned by the police. He thinks Sister Daisy may have unintentionally offended someone, and that's what led to someone intentionally killing someone. It just so happens that he heard that someone refused to come in and give a statement today. That guy is a guy named Young, and he's the only one who doesn't make a statement or disappear. After making a statement, because the star house is temporarily going to be closed for a period of time, so Lily told everyone to go back to their homes, and Peter says he doesn't have a home of his own here. Wei is invited by Yo to stay at his house since he doesn't have a house here either. The death of Sister Daisy is quickly becoming hot news. Lily, on the other hand, was unable to answer everyone's questions because she was sad. That's when Gun steps up and tells everyone to wait for word from the police department and then just walks away. The others followed along with them as they went along. Due to the death of Sister Daisy and the fact that many of Star House's artists have not been able to escape suspicion, they have been caught up in news like this. That's why various brands are afraid to use artists from the House of Stars. And Lily, even in the face of something as big as her mother's death, that didn't leave much time for her to wallow in her grief. When she gets a call from Amos with the news that her family is full of reporters, he instructed Amos not to give any interviews. As for the extended family, the crowd, which was already not deep in revolutionary feelings, became suspicious of each other over the incident. 
when Lady gathered everyone all together in her house. Yet it was also at this point, May surreptitious filming a gun at the hospital, while it was talking also gone out at this time, and to that gun's emotional outburst to the crowd not too long ago. All of these factors make it inevitable that Gunn thinks he's the most suspicious. Everyone but Peter can help but look at Gunn with an extra filter. Even when May explains that Young isn't here either, people simply don't listen. Not to mention that Lily duly stops May from making wild guesses with what she says later. At Lily's pleading, the group then stopped their discussion and left separately.